morning guys welcome to today welcome to today today what do we have going on Sophie baby chickens we have baby chickens baby chicks two of them they're fighting already they're actually fighting what the heck they they, they're out. definitely boys we discovered that they're both boys stop be nice to your brother. Do you guys remember when we got the eggs? We bought these eggs, these hatching eggs, and they were all so super pointy. And there's an old wives' tale that says pointy eggs are the roosters. I feel like the lady gave us all the pointy eggs. Because in her ad, I looked at her ad again, and she has a lot of round eggs, but we only got pointy eggs. Anyway, so far, two roosters. <laughs> this one, the one that has a puff on its head, is Toby. Right, and we think that he is a Polish cross because he has the puff on his head. And this one's um, toothless. Toothless, and they're not beautiful. <laughs> they're not at the beautiful stage yet, cute. but that's okay. This one's cute, I like Sophie them. loves this one. You may be wondering where the heck is your puppy, Laura? Why are you worried about chickens? Where's your puppy? She's right there. We have three eggs hatching. There's that one, that brown one, and then that beige one. Yeah, so we have three more eggs that are hatching. Through the course of the next couple of days, they should all hatch. I don't know how our success rate is gonna be. Like I said, we screwed up the humidity. Humidity is a big deal in the chicken world. When you're hatching chickens, it's a huge deal. The baby chickens in the incubator just keep chirping all day long. The babies over there in that box just keep chirping all day long. And this little baby follows me around all day long. And today, she had me up at 6.30. She does sleep all night. But today, 6.30 a.m. and she was awake. <laughs> but I was happy to come downstairs with her. I was. Hi, baby. So today we're gonna try and take some photos of our horses. I don't know how it's gonna work. I wanna kinda do it in this doorway. I think the door is a little bit stuck from the snow. So we're gonna see how it happens, how it works, but we wanna get pictures of honey. We're gonna get pictures of all of our horses. Oh, hi, princess. <laughs> She's like, I, I missed yesterday. It was so fun. You coming in? I want to actually bring you in. Oh, she's like, no. Sophie's getting horses ready. Gabby's setting up our little stand thing. It has to go as high as you can get it. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if it will work if it's not super high. Gabby's our mechanical girl. Sam's taught her how to like do all this stuff. So she's, she's the one that sets things up. I don't even have my halter. I left it in the trailer. Isn't that awful? <sighs> We hardly even use our halters anymore. So uh, mine's in the trailer from the last time we took the horses out on the trailer. Some people don't take pictures of their horses until like the spring and stuff because after the shed, because they look all shiny and nice. I oh, know it's so satisfying, but I think horses in winter look beautiful too. Uh, it's nicer when they can have a bath. I can see like dirt in every part of Penny's face. Anyway, we're going to groom these guys up and then we are going to get started and try and take pictures. I, if worse comes to worse and I can't get the thing set up with the background, I'm going to take them outside in the snow and do them then. So I found a problem with my new coat. Can you guys see what the problem is? I'm covered in horse hair. Penny is shedding like crazy. All right, not like crazy yet, but I try. Yeah, I tried like getting it all off of her but it's just coming out like crazy yeah, I don't really know about my coat Why am I supposed to tie her up? Uh, I don't I think it holds a decent amount of hair it holds a decent amount of hair I don't know like why I would choose to take pictures but it comes off when, when they're shedding all right we're gonna go outside look at her forelock though look at doesn't it look like so small and thin? Like is and she? This head this whole time? Yeah. Oh. So uh, yesterday we went to go and visit Storm because it was light and we got to the barn early. And Gabby, you will be shocked. He has no, his tail looks good. His forelock and his mane is the worst ever. I can't remember if it was always that bad and we just forget or if it's like way worse. But his forelock, I'm sure, never was that bad. Like, it was so bad. I think it's because the boys all get playing together. Oh, you're getting cut. <laughs> yeah, before when I tried to do it, she was too young, pushy too... and too young, and now she's perfect. She's not as pushy. All right, so you're going to use the green stuff? The green stuff. That halter? This baby is almost a year old, and she's already fitting into Willow's. Does she fit that? Mm, 
That halter? Does she fit that halter? Barely. Barely. She barely fits yeah, it. Yeah, it's a little big. It's only like that because I'm cutting her forelock. I mean, her forelock. Yeah, it's only tied like that because she's doing her forelock. But anyways, we're going out. We're going to get shooting, and we will uh, come back in a few minutes. Or we'll call When Gabby comes in, you can bring out one of your ponies, okay? And uh, she can brush her own horse? sure honestly that is so much work like it's exhausting taking pictures we took a bunch of pictures i'm gonna go up to the house and edit them this is probably gonna be a shorter video because i wanted to take the pictures taking a pictures always takes so much longer than you think that it's gonna take i'm excited to see what i got though like who do you think is our cutest horse or like our prettiest horse willow and honey i think honey I and gracie honey. i don't know why but i have a thing for palominos i i never did before like i didn't ever think like they were amazing or stunning looking like i never had a thing for palominos before but now i have a thing for palominos and i like paints too you coming in penny there's something about honey's white blonde hair that just makes me like fall in love. Oh no, with your words on repeat, I will break like a twig right under your feet. Don't you say that you didn't want me, you turned me upside down and then.